Hey, Magic fans, it's a big day here at uh, Pearson House. I've got a book in that uh, is one of my favorite books. If not, it, it is my favorite Magic book of all time. Uh, if you do not have this book, if you haven't studied this book, you are doing yourself a great disservice. I mean that most sincerely. Uh, the book is Stars of Magic. If you're not familiar with it, you ain't doing magic. Well, when I went to order this in for the shop, I was a bit disappointed that I couldn't order the original uh, publication, which I had one myself, and unfortunately it was stolen by one of my friends. You know, I read a statistic one time that if you borrow a book out to someone, you have a one in three chance of getting that book back. And from my experience, that's true. That they, they're even being a bit generous. The encouraging thing is that this new edition is put out by Mary Edith, who is a great guy and it puts out nothing but you know, top quality stuff. You know it's going to be quality. I haven't looked at it yet, so um, I've taken off the plastic. I have not cracked this book open. I'm going to take a peek in right now. I'm hoping I like what I see. I, I think it's going to be the same as the original book. Um, but let's take a look. There's the cover. I can't remember if the cover was exactly like that or not. Uh, I found a hidden message already, though. If you turn it upside down, you can see there's an inverted pentagram on the front of the book, which is, of course, a, a sign of uh, something bad, from what I understand. Anyway, let me take a peek inside, and we'll see. Uh, before I peek inside, let me just say I haven't looked, I haven't seen the inside of Stars of Magic in the longest time, and I really haven't read it. I studied it endlessly years ago. It doesn't matter what, uh, where you're at with your magic right now. If you're a pro, a beginner, if you haven't read this, uh, there's something, there's something missing. You really gotta, you really gotta get to it. The great thing about this book, the thing that I noticed when I first went through it was that uh, the uh, the descriptions of these effects uh, read like a dream. They read just amazing, uh, like the trick just can't be that clean. Well, of course, the trick's not exactly that clean, but the descriptions are written from the point of the audience. This is what the audience really sees. So, yeah, your hand might go to your pocket a couple more times than are mentioned in the description, but you can bet the audience doesn't know about it. These routines, these are masterful pieces. Uh, not everyone. There's a couple I, I didn't care much for, but um, out of everything, the thing that impressed me the most is Francis Carlyle's stuff. I had never heard of Francis Carlyle before. His uh, card in the pocket routine, just brilliant. I, I do this, I used to do this all the time in my professional work. I haven't done it in over 10 years. I haven't performed, but uh, I pulled out a deck of cards and was able to do the routine today. For my daughter and my wife, and, and uh, it's like riding a bicycle. It's something you don't forget. The thing is just routine so smoothly. Uh, his watch steal. I learned how to steal a watch from this book, and you know made some modifications uh, of my own. But the routine is, is a great place to start. Uh, Die Vernon stuff in here, really neat. Uh, his cups and balls, if I remember right, is in here, and and. That was the first cups and balls routine I've ever learned. It's the only one you ever need. If you learn the routines in this book, you do not need anything else. This would be enough uh, to make you into a pro and to keep you working for the rest of your life. Diver in this, uh, cutting the aces is in here. It's fantastic. I used to do it. it. It's simple, but the effect on the audience is just tremendous. I used to do that in my walk-around routine quite a bit. Of course, I'm getting interrupted right now. Here, Lisa, come over here. You can look at this with me. We'll see. We'll get your reaction, too. There's my charming assistant, Lisa. All right. We're going to take a peek in this book and see what, see what we think of it, all right? I've never seen it before. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you scared? No. Okay. What do you think of that? Bad. Bad? <laughs> it's, well, it's just black. We're just on the first page <laughs> before the table of contents. Let's take a look. All right. Hmm. Okay. 
There's an introduction. I think this introduction holds still, please. This introduction has got to be from Mayer. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I'll have to read that. Oh, and then there we go. The book looks the same. Great. We have the same pictures. They've clear, cleaned them up a little bit. What do you think of that? Take a look. What do you th You don't know? All right. Well, hold on. What about this? Remember the trick Daddy showed you today? Yeah. What did what did what happened in the trick? Uh, I forgot. Okay. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at hand. I'm looking your hand. I'm looking your hand. I'm crushing your heads. <laughs> okay. Enough. Bye bye, kid. See you later. Close the door. Okay, uh, you can see the pictures. You can see the pictures here. You got Di Vernon. You know, Dr. Daly. It's uh, really a great book. It doesn't get any better than this, seriously. Um, may have noticed, but, you know, we're adding more stuff to the site. I'm not trying to add every new trick that comes out. I'm trying to add the things that I really think are worth buying and the things that are going to make you into a better magician. Um, things that are, you know, suitable for everybody, whether you're a beginner or a pro. You need to know these tricks. Anyway, uh, that's the Stars of Magic. My overall, uh, my reaction to it, pretty cool. It's it's cool that he reproduced it the same way rather than, uh, you know, replace the photos and stuff because you get to see the old guys. You can get the book at eMagic Supply. I'm putting it up on the site as soon as I get done with this video. Uh, the price, I don't even remember how much it is right now. I can tell you that it is easily worth uh, $500. And I know it's not $500. It's not even $100. As a matter of fact, it's only I don't know. I mean, I'd say it's worth 50 bucks. We'll see what price goes on it. I think it's less than that. So, that's Stars of Magic. Impressive book. Must have. Steve Pearson signing out. Yes? Yes? Why are you peeking in here? Come on over here. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right. You just want to say, you want to say something? You want to say bye? Are you shy today? Well, we got to get her a cup of coffee. She's no good until she's had her coffee. Dad, <laughs> I don't eat coffee. You don't eat coffee? All right. What do you think of this book? Two thumbs up? Give it two thumbs up. Come on, you can do it. Oh, sometimes kids get shy. Wish you were shy and quiet like this all the time. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> all right, adios, kiddo. That stars of magic. It is a must-have book. And the thing is. Uh, Easily worth a hundred dollars, in my opinion, it's worth five hundred. It's worth a thousand dollars, but it's not even a hundred dollars. I don't think it's even fifty dollars, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, go to eMagicSupply.com. I'll have it up on the site within the next hour. By the time you see this, it's probably already. It's probably already up there. Hey, what's that? If anybody's wondering. This is some of what Lisa uh, wants for Christmas. Okay. So, you can send it to the address on the site. She'd be very happy to receive it, right? Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for your help. <laughs>